Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Excellency, the First Lady, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Amama Dorcas Gashagwa, Your Excellency, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, the Speaker of the Senate, the Honorable Chief Justice and the President of the Supreme Court, colleagues, cabinet secretaries present, the Vice Chief of the Defense Forces, service commanders, the host governor of Nairobi and all governors present, principal secretaries present, general officers, members of the diplomatic court, corps, senior security officers present, led by the inspector general of police and the director general of national intelligence service, service members of KDF, ladies and gentlemen, Today, we gather with heavy hearts to bid farewell to a true hero, General Francis Ogola. He was my elder, my friend, our CDF, a member of the Defense Council, a man whose life exemplified courage, dedication, an unwavering commitment to this country, Kenya. As we mourn his passing on, we also celebrate his remarkable legacy, a legacy attached in the annals of our nation's history. General Okola's journey of service began over four decades ago when he joined the military as a cadet officer in 1984. Through his hard work, determination, and exceptional leadership skills, he rose through the ranks, earning the respect and admiration of his colleagues and superiors alike. His tenure as the chief of the defense forces who I have worked with him very closely, was marked by a steadfast devotion to duty and deep sense of responsibility towards safeguarding the sovereignty and territorial integrity of our nation. He ensured that he had the presence of mind to lead the forces by example. Your Excellency, Ladies and gentlemen, what you may have not known about General Ogola is that he led officers, service members, and civilians in our ministry right on these tracks in front of us for a morning run every Tuesday and Friday doing 10 laps, his latest being the past Tuesday. Your Excellency, sir, the Kenya Defense Forces reach new heights of professionalism and excellence, earning accolades both at home and abroad. Tra tragically, General Ogola's life was shot while he was on official duty, serving his country until his last breath. His untimely demise in a helicopter crash on the 18th of April 2024 has left a void in our hearts and a profound sense of loss of our nation. Your Excellency, the leadership and the rank and the file of Kenya Defense Forces across the country and outside the country, we want to assure you and commit that we will make our country safe and secure as General Ogola 
wished when he was our CDF. As we bid farewell to, Gen to General Francis Ogola, let's honor his memory by upholding the values he held very dear. Loyalty, honor, and service to our country. And to the Kenya Defense Forces, let us uphold the unity and the camaraderie he championed through his motto, one force, one mission. Though he may be gone, his spirit lives in the hearts of all of us who knew him. His legacy will endure as, as a beacon of hope for our nation. Rest in peace, General Ogola. Your service will never be forgotten, and your sacrifice will always be remembered. Your Excellency, finally, we receive so many condolences on behalf of General Ogola from friends, partners, and allies of Kenya Defense Forces and of our country under your leadership as our Commander-in-Chief. I want to say, just mention a few. The Secretary of Defense of the United States, my colleague and a friend, the Minister for Defense of Turkey, the Minister of Defense of Tanzania, the Minister of Defense of Ethiopia, the Minister of Defense of Somalia, and Rwanda, and Burundi, and India, among many, many other colleagues who said more good things about General Ogola, who interacted, who saw him, and who loved him as a leader of one of the biggest and most professional defense forces in our region and in Africa. As we say in Islam, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. From God we originate, and to God we shall return. Thank you, and may God bless you. Your Excellency, with your permission, and under the guidance you have given us this morning, it's my humble duty and privilege to invite our elder, our leader, the former Prime Minister, His Excellency Raila Amolo Odinga, to make his remarks.